there. This is a video for a Honda CRV 2 litre EX. Um, the car is registered BV07ZJE. This car has had just the one private owner from you and it's fitted with a, a couple of really lovely options on the car actually. It's got the um, full dynamic body kit on the vehicle. So you can see that extended front bumper there. Uh, that comes with the rear spoiler as well. Also has these um, roof bars on the top, side steps on the car, and the extended rear bumper as well. Um, been fitted with the advanced safety pack that incorporates collision mitigation, so auto braking, so if something comes out in front of you, plus also the um, active cruise control, which is a lovely function of the car. I'll just go around the car for you. It's a really, really good looking car, this. Um, very low mileage, in fact, Bear with me one second. So we're just double checking the mileage, it's 41,351 miles currently showing. So just to go around the car, it starts on the um, offside here. So front tire's got tons and tons and tons of tread on it. Alloy is really clean on all the spokes. The only marks I can see it, a little bit of curbing just on the edge there, and just a tiny bit down there as well. But the flanks of the car look really clean and crisp. I always sort of venture to say that it is, you know, it is still a used car, so there will be the odd tiny little mark on the vehicle somewhere, um, but they, you know, they are few and far between. Rear alloy, I cannot see a mark on that one at all, and the tyre's got absolutely tons of tread on it. Just pan back slightly, get a really nice view of the um, <laughs> walk into a car behind me. Um, the back of the car there, it's got a really nice stance with that spoiler, it just changes the whole look of the vehicle. Around the back, all in really, really nice order. Coming down to this near side of the car. Just pan back a bit again, just so you get sort of a nicer look at it. There we go. Panel looking side is really very nice indeed. Rear alloy, can't see a mark on it anywhere. And the tyres, absolutely unblemished. wing and front wheel sorry again alloy is really good just a titchiest bit of curbing tiny little mark there and just down here it's got a little bit caught on the edge there but all the spokes are really good but generally on the outside the cut foot apart from you know one or two very very minor marks it's all in really top order there all right coming into the boot area of the car the car's interior is in absolutely fantastic condition uh, so the owner said as i said just the one from new Kept everything original, you got the um, tonneau cover, it's all good and intact. Rear um, storage shelf, again, all perfectly good. And it's all you know, really, really tidy. And this top one here will actually just go down to this shaped recess underneath. So if you don't want it, you just put it down and it just slots flat at the back of the boot there. But it is a quite huge boot on the CRV. Coming to the back of the car now, rear near side door card, and it's all very good. There's a titch a bit of wear on the door handles there, which is quite common on the CRVs. You can see here, you've got a car with absolutely colossal bit, amount of uh, rear leg room in the car. These rear um, seat angles can be adjusted really easily just by pulling these tabs up and putting those backwards and forwards as, if you so wish. But also underneath the seats here, there's a bar underneath which you can pull up as you would on a conventional car. And you can actually pull these front seats um, forward and back to, to increase the boot space by a good sort of six or seven inches or so. But even in their um, fully forward position as they are now, you're left with an absolutely enormous boot area. And the leatherwork is in absolutely superb condition in here. Right, coming to the front of the car now, driver's door card, all again really nice. Just the normal wear on these ones, it's a little bit where the, your hand grabs it. It's a little bit of paint wear on there, but um, it, is, it is pretty minor. Sill area is all in lovely condition. It's a really lovely colour combination because the, the blue works very well with this light interior. It's a kind of a really kind of classy look about the car, yeah, but it really does brighten it up. But the seats, sorry, I couldn't come back back. Seats are in fantastic condition, very, very comfortable indeed. And then you've got the front passenger one there in wonderful condition. Being an EX model, this means it comes with this big panoramic roof. So on a lovely daylight day, you'd have the blind open or wherever you want it to be. Just press the button here. 
and it covers that blind across and then back again to open it up. Right, so I'm inside the car now, engine obviously is running. Just to quickly pan down, just to show you, I've got the full owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut set for the vehicle, so they're all good and intact. Um, the interior is in fantastic order. Uh, plastics are really, really good indeed. So the, the owner's really looked after this car. Um, EX model, so you've got this lovely, big, simple um, sat-nav system. Uh, press a button there, that then gives you access to your CD behind it. And obviously you've been in the X model as well, pop the car into reverse and you get this lovely crystal clear parking camera. It's a really, really nice feature and makes parking sort of in cities and um, car parks really simple indeed. Fully functional dual zone climate control system there. Again, really nice, simple and easy to use. And six speed gearbox is an absolute gem, um, as you'll find out from the follow on video that comes with this on the road test. Coming down to the centre storage, loads of storage space in the car, heated seats here, so just press the buttons there to activate those and they all work absolutely perfectly. Coming across, just go to the dashboard first, you can see the rev counter is running and it's um, showing no warning lights at all on the car, mileage showing at 41,351 miles. I'm going to pan back here, auto lights, auto wipers and then your multifunction steering wheel. Um, so top left, we've got audio controls. Top right, we've got um, cruise control system. Bottom left, you've got your voice activation and HFT buttons. And then on the right hand side, we've got, this is a distance control for you and cruise control. Cruise control on this isn't the standard uh, fare. It's a much, much cleverer system. It's radar activated or controlled rather. So when you set your speed, it'll maintain your gap to the car in front and it'll actually break the car for you. It's a brilliant system, um, and I, yes, I go into more detail of that on the following road test of the car. Come around here, obviously other functions, uh, electric wing mirrors, obviously press a button there, and there they fold in, and they all work absolutely perfectly. We're just coming under the engine bay here, really nicely presented engine bay on the Honda. Absolutely tons of rooms for you know mechanics to do their servicing on the car, which is a rarity in this modern age. Um, Incredibly tough, incredibly reliable, no cam belts to worry about, it's chain driven. Uh, they always sound a bit louder on the videos than they do in reality, it's, it's just purring here very quietly indeed, but a great engine. So finally just pop inside and you can see here just the one private owner from new and a lovely supporting service history which shows services at 7,000, 12,000, 18, 26, 37 and winter room one zero as well. Uh, this is the road test section of the video for the Honda CRV 2 litre EX petrol. The car is registered BV07ZJE. Mileage at the start of this uh, brief road test is 41,334 miles. The um, purpose of this road test is really just for those who are becoming a fair distance to us. So you can actually see the car in operation and if there's anything I need to report back in terms of mechanically or otherwise in the vehicle when I test drive the car then they can let you do so and let you know so the reason we do them now is because basically we're getting customers from all over the near continent and the extremes of the UK come to look at it and buy our cars and as a company we feel it's right that if you're coming that or we're gonna obviously commit to coming to see us we'd like you to be able to do so with confidence or at least to know if there is an issue then you know about it prior to you coming what I try and do on these road tests as much as anything else is to mimic what you'll do yourself um, and in that respect I tend to go in a certain order. So I always start with the engines, it's usually an easy place on the Hondas, they're, um, they're, they're you know, by a country mile the world's best engine builder. The engine in this one is a 2 litre VTEC, this is absolutely typical of the breed, it's a beautiful beautiful engine, very quiet, very refined starts absolutely on the button settles to a very quick and even idle you know hot or cold uh, the engine pulls really sweetly it's a chain driven engine so there's no cam belts on these either but this particular example said it, it, it pulls really nicely it's got kind of a more low down grunt than you can probably give it credit for so you know touch the throttle and it, it wants to go but as I said, you know, if you if it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a low mileage one, so you're not going to expect it to be 
it's sort of rough around the edges and it certainly isn't you know it's only when they get to 200,000 miles plus really that you're going to expect to sort of see any noticeable wear on these engines unless they've been badly maintained but given the maintenance of this car and the low mileage it's uh, it's, it's a wonderful wonderful example looking at the dashboard now no warning lights relating to anything setting aside the engine so again in that respect absolutely fine the engine then drives through clutch and gearbox clutch is exactly what you'd hope for it's light it's positive the, the clutch pedal is completely silent it doesn't squeak or creak and it bites in exactly the perfect position on the uh, clutch pedal as well the gearbox typical honda box beautifully done six speed it's very very nice and easy to engage it's just a nice short throw on the gear lever I'm kind of doing that for effect really um, but it just engages absolutely beautifully there's no kind of wear in the linkage that i can feel i mean it, it, they are beautifully built cars mind you so even with big mileages they tend not to but the actual linkage here just feels absolutely spot on you know sort of factory fresh uh, they you know they're, they're not only are they lovely to use they're also you know they're, they're very very robust gearbox you know we've sold literally hundreds of these things and we've never ever touched a gearbox on one of them there you know even with some very high mileage stuff so in terms of the powertrain you know utterly faultless uh, steering the car no vibrations coming back through it's tracks absolutely bullet straight uh, it's a lovely power steering setup you know, I don't like these, or I'm not a great fan, certainly, of, you know, electronic power steering that's coming out, or electric power steering, because they, they tend to lose a bit of feel. These ones have just got a very nice, kind of, even though it's light, in terms of, you know, it doesn't require any great effort, it's heavy enough to make you feel confident at speed, over bumps, and it's very, very, very precise for what is ultimately, you know, a relatively big car. Um, braking now no shudders no distortion on the brake pedal that you know where you can feel any kind of uh, sort of uh, warp discs or anything under the car uh, all feels really really good under there suspension again likewise you know apart from being able to kind of hear the odd bump coming up through the car which you're going to get on any car that's absolutely normal there's no what i call secondary shimmies or shudders from the car which suggests that there's a little bit of wear in the suspension of the vehicle uh it's so it's it's you know it feels really really tight and fresh underneath the car what i always do generally at this point in the test because it's around a kind of a sharp horseshoe roundabout if you like just push the car a little bit more than i would do normally certainly with my family in the car and i can't because he pulled out of me but anyway it's just to show you I mean, it's, it's it's very 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 precise and you know for a, what is a big car a, you know a tall car in effect it, it's got quite a wide track and that means it's actually very very stable indeed um but i've had numerous i mean i've lost count of how many crvs i've now had so this is just like going back to my office the reason i love them is that they just you know even with family in the back they don't get flung around they don't get sort of you know far less prone to car sickness in these and they do some sort of softly sprung ones the all the, the dashboard works beautifully it's in fantastic condition as you've probably seen from the previous uh, walk around video of the car uh, works really well so it's such a simple but nicely done very you know it's a very 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 high quality machine you know the sat nav is in a nice position you can see it really easily when you're driving it's very intuitive uh, the climate, dual zone climate control again very simple and easy to use and the main binnacle here is brilliant uh, I've not pressed anything that doesn't work. It all works absolutely beautifully with that lovely click-click action. What I'm going to do is, because I'll, I'll run out of time if I don't, this car's also equipped with auto cruise control. For those who haven't used it, you just press the cruise control the normal way to activate it, and then you set it with this one here. I've now set this speed deliberately faster than I can actually go from the car in front. So I've got it up to, uh, I'm going to drop it down a fraction, 54 miles per hour, yeah, the car in front is going 50 miles an hour. What's actually happening is there's a radar built into the Honda badge on the front. And what's brilliant about this is if on a normal cruise control system, you'd go flying up towards the car in front, but you'd have to either deactivate it or hit the brakes, which deactivates it, or use this little rocker switch, can be a little bit kind of slow to react. This will basically slow you down and speed you up. And I can feel it braking now. 
it's just it's so relaxing to do and if a car suddenly pulled out in front it would slam the brakes on because it's got this collision mitigation system as well and it just works so seamlessly and you know I if, if you're in relatively quiet roads like now with a bit of traffic about it works great on very quiet roads you can just set it and leave it and it's makes your journey very very relaxing indeed the only time you don't tend to use it is obviously when you're absolutely nose to tail because it's going to be kind of um, working over time to try and keep up but it's, it's a lovely lovely option on the car which is an expensive one but one that's very is one i love seeking out of my own personal ones because I, I tend to do a drive to cambridge quite often and it's predominantly sort of quite quiet but I set the system, I've only got two roundabouts in 200 miles or so, and it's it's brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. But it all works really, really nicely. But everything I've touched, everything about this car, smacks of a, a car that drives absolutely beautifully. And, I w and if there was something about the car I needed to tell you about, I definitely would. I can't find anything on the car to criticize. You know, if I've missed anything on this video, or the walk around video of the vehicle, then please, do phone and do ask but just to give you the reassurance if you are going to come to see us that based on the, the the drive i've had in the car thus far i can find no issues with the vehicle mechanically we look forward to seeing you